Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Debbie Church and uh, I hope you enjoy this video. <laughs> dolls were my inspiration. Do my own recreation of a cute little Bratz doll that I saw. This is the inspiration photo. Ah, ah, this is about as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> Hope that you guys like the video and please keep watching on how I got this look. So to get started, I'm going to apply some eyeshadow base. I'm gonna be using the Shadow Insurance by Too Faced all over my lids. And I've already moisturized and all that good stuff. And going in with the James Charles palette, I am going to start the eye makeup look. Taking this shade right here, I'm, I'm gonna start applying that in my crease. Now that I think about it, I'm gonna bring you in closer for the eye makeup look. So taking more of that, that transition shade, I'm just gonna build up the crease. And then next, I'm going to take this shade right here and build that all over my lid. And bringing it up a little bit into the crease right around here to almost create a bit of a cut crease and taking a black eyeshadow we're going to start stamping that all along the sides right here bring it in a little bit on the top and just continue the blending getting a blending brush just blending that in that's kind of the gradient that we're going for. Taking some of the Fenty Beauty concealer, I'm going to begin a little mini cut crease and just right in the inner corner, like that's it. Go below the red though and really take my time. And then stamp that Hustler Baby Color right on top of it. I'm gonna even add some of this MAC Liquid Glitter on top of Hustle Baby and bring it a little bit on top of the lash line. And that's the eye look on this eye. I'm gonna do the other eye really quick off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay, now that both of the eyes are done, I'm just going to clean up underneath, underneath the eye. Okay, so next I'm gonna get started on the brows. I'm gonna put brow gel in the eyebrows. And the brows aren't too big. They were just kind of like a curve and pretty archy, like had a pretty big arch to them. So I'm going to do that. Okay, and now that the brow gel has dried, I'm going to get started on filling in the eyebrows with a brow powder. I'm just gonna use my Benefit brow powder in the number three. Now working on the other brow. I'm really like kind of packing it on, like really filling them in pretty dark. And with that being done, I want to use the white color in the James Charles palette and kind of mimic that my brow is like lift more lifted. So the Brad Stahl's eyes are like pretty almond shaped and they're very big. I'm gonna start my eyeliner very thin in the inner corner and then bring it out pretty wide and like lifted so that my eyes look lifted and as big as possible. I'm not gonna do the whole like cartoony thing where I'm gonna draw my eye down here cause I just think I will look literally crazy and I'm trying to actually wear my makeup tonight. <laughs> so yeah. We're gonna get started on that right now. Okay, and now that the eyeliner is on, that was a struggle, by the way, struggle to get that on. I'm gonna take a black eyeshadow, that same black eyeshadow from the James Charles palette, and just deepen my outer V just a little bit more to blend it out as I go. And then taking that same red color and just going over this crease just a little bit more. Throwing on the Monsieur Big Mascara, I will do maybe like just two coats, not anything crazy because I'm gonna be putting falsies on. Okay, and as for lashes, I got two pairs as options. I'm gonna go with the Iconic Lights pictures of the brats. You can like see individual lashes versus this one's a lot more like thick and fluffy. I'm gonna apply these lashes off camera because I'm a hot mess when I apply lashes. <laughs> now that the lashes are on, I'm going to get started on the face makeup. Put the Farsali drops on, the Skin Tune Blur drops and place those all over my face and rub that in with my fingers. And then zooming you out a bit, I'm going to put the Hourglass Liquid Highlighter all over my face. I'm literally just rubbing it between my fingers and putting that all over my face because I want to look doll-like. And I also want hydration underneath my foundation. 
Okay, and with that being done, I'm going to take the color 230 by Fenty Beauty. I'm gonna work quickly. And then taking the new Fenty Beauty concealer in 420, I'm going to contour my face. So starting with the forehead, I'm going to blend that out almost right, like basically right away because I don't want it to dry on me because it is a pretty dry formula. So working pretty quickly, I just want to blend that all out. Do my right cheekbone. And that is looking pretty good so far. So I just wanna do my nose a little bit. And since this concealer does go such a long way, I just wanna do a little dot right here and then do the rest of the work with a brush. The other side of the It Cosmetics brush, I'm just shortening my nose and then doing the sides of my nose and really emphasizing the tip of my nose because they have cute little button noses. Then next, I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty Concealer in 230. So that's interesting. This is the concealer in 230 and I have the foundation in 230. So that's actually funny. I bought them separately. I didn't even realize that I had I had done that. So going over the brow, put some concealer there, some in the middle of my forehead, a little bit down the bridge of my nose, and then some on the tip of my nose. And I'll start blending that out right away because again, I don't want it to dry on me. A big reason why I think that a lot of people haven't been liking this concealer is because of the fact that it dries so quickly and they just weren't like ready for that. But I figured out that if I just blend it out right away, this is a really good concealer for like really glam looks. And then doing the sides of my nose, underneath the eyes, around my nose, the chin, and even bringing it a little bit onto the tops of my cheeks. Then I'm going to blend that out. And then taking the Patrick's powder, I'm going to bake under my eyes and just make sure that this doesn't go anywhere. Okay, and with all of that baking, I'm going to place the Tarte Blush in Natural Beauty. So their blush is pretty much like right in the middle of their cheek and then goes up. This is layering on top of my foundation and concealer really nicely. And taking a brightening powder by KKW Beauty, this is the brightening powder in number three, I'm going to dust away all of my baking powder. And I'm basically taking a brightening powder all over my face because I want to look like a doll. What better than to use a brightening powder? Okie dokie. And then taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette, I'm gonna take the terracotta color and just bronze up the outer perimeters of my face. Taking the more like ashy brown color, just accentuate my cheekbone a little bit more. The jawline and then the nose again. Okay. And then taking the Fenty Beauty highlight in Hustla Baby, I'm going to place that on my cheekbones and above my eyebrow. Kind of highlighter everywhere because you want to look like a doll, okay? Then using the How Many Carrots highlighter from, from Fenty Beauty, this is a really cool highlighter to use for a look like this. I'm going to pile that onto my brush and apply that on to my cheekbones for that extra glow. And then using my finger, just putting that down the bridge of my nose. And then quite a bit on the tip. And then taking that same highlight, I'm going to place them on the brow bone. And right above the brow bone. I'm going to go back into the James Charles palette and take that reddish shade, reddish brown shade, and put that on my lower lash line. Their lower lash line was actually not too smoked out, so I'm just not going to do that. They just kind of have a color there. And I'm going to take my Monsieur Big... Lancome mascara and put that on my lower lashes based off of the photo she has a bright red lip so i wanted to do something similar and a lot of the other photos they have like darker lip liners and a like a nude lip in the middle but i want to do the red so i'm going to overdraw my lips with the cork lip liner by mac especially overdrawing them towards the center not so much on the sides on my bottom lip i'm going to take my makeup forever lip brush and just kind of diffuse the color a little bit up and then taking the Smashbox color, oh, this is the Lily Singh color actually, the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in Baus. I'm going to place that all over my lips. And then getting started on the top lip. 
and it's actually crazy when you take the time to overline your lips with a darker like brown and then you use a matte lip color it actually looks pretty real and then all over add a shimmering gloss the diamond milk by fenty beauty mainly focusing it on the center of the lips and that is the finished look okay so i made this pretty wearable it's kind of cake face but i mean who doesn't want a cake fix every once in a while am i right am i right okay just so that you guys get an idea of what it looks like hope that you test out the fenty beauty foundation or maybe even their concealer hear that race there was like literally a race in like my backyard essentially <laughs> yeah so i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i feel like a little girl that just got her dreams come true like i look like you know yasmin or sasha please comment down below if there's anything that you'd like to see and please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe you know subscribe feel free to subscribe <laughs> and it's always a pleasure thank you for watching bye <laughs>